What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel for another episode of On The Shelf, a show where I experiment with different posing and display options with my collection in the hopes to give you some ideas for your own displays. So if that's something that you're interested in, stick around because today I bring to you my Hot Toys 1-6 scale Captain America collection. But before we get started, do us a favor, hit that like button, notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get to it. Okay guys, here it is. My current Captain America collection slash shrine featuring 10 figures on one dedicated shelf to honor another one of my favorite MCU characters. Chris Evans, Steve Rogers, Captain America, the first Avenger arguably has one of the strongest trilogy of films in all the MCU and for me one of the most satisfying character arcs and conclusions to his story along with my guy Tony Stark. He's a real man with honour and integrity who stands for doing the right thing regardless of the consequences and that's something that has always drawn me to his character in the MCU. That bravery and conviction is something to aspire for. This display is set up a bit differently from the chronological order of my Iron Man display as this time I wanted to mix it up and go with themes which I'll break down as we go. I'll forever cherish Cap's legacy of films and I'm excited to see where Anthony Mackie can take Sam Wilson as Captain America into the future. As far as I'm concerned the handover from Steve to Sam in Endgame was perfect and well deserved for all involved. But without further ado, let's zoom in and take a closer look at each figure as I touch on why it has a place in my collection. Okay guys, taking a look at the Winter Soldier section of the display, featuring the original 2-pack with the Stealth Suit and Steve Rogers up front and the newly released Endgame version of Stealth Suit Cap in the back, which for me belongs in this shrine to this film. Captain America and the Winter Soldier is easily in my top 5 Marvel films of all time. I still remember the first time Lani and I watched it in the cinema. We were so hyped. Such a great film. Action, intrigue, suspense, crafted to perfection, establishing the Captain America franchise as top tier Marvel content. Starting with Steve Rogers on this custom Hydra base by a company called Base Station, I believe. I love this thing. It creates a scene and enhances the display. The Hydra symbol has a slit for the shield to rest in to accommodate for a ground pound pose like this, which for me is perfect because this is what I call a set and forget pose. Meaning I can see myself leaving this figure pose like this for a long time, as it nails a few things for me. It makes use of the base by having the figure interacting with it. I visually like the look of Cap having slammed his shield down into the Hydra logo, which symbolizes him destroying Hydra as he did in the film. Moving over to the original stealth suit cap. He is definitely showing his age now, especially compared to the newer version, but I still got love for him. For the pose, I have him also interacting with the base by leaning on it, raising his shield up to the fight, raising his shield up to protect, raising his shield up for what's right. I do like the blue color tone for this shield too. You know, both of these shields are die cast, which is cool as they feel great in hand. However, too heavy for dynamic posing I feel. Now looking at the newer stealth suit release, a definite upgrade in all aspects, especially the body proportions compared to the original. For the pose, I have him propped up in the middle of the Winter Soldier display in a simple walking pose coming towards us, tying up the Winter Soldier shrine. This film is easily the best sequel to an origin story in the MCU to date, and the espionage themes and overall tone that the Russo brothers incorporated into this superhero film, again, changed the game for the MCU. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. Moving on to the concept art figure from Captain America Civil War. I feel like this pose captures Cap's mantra in this film. Standing fast and holding his position. Fist clenched, refusing to submit. Prepared to fight for his friend and his beliefs. Because, compromise where you can, but where you can't, 
don't. Even if everyone is telling you something is wrong, is something right? Even if the whole world is telling you to move, it is your duty to plant yourself like a tree, look them in the eye and say no. You move. Civil War is also in my top five Marvel films of all time. Okay, moving over to my Steve and Sam section of the display, which is dead smack in the middle of the shelf. A few reasons I went for this setup with the endgame cap and two versions of Sam in the middle is, visually, I like having Sam up high so we can see the beauty of his suit with the wings out in full view. Then by having Steve on the right side and the other copy of Sam standing to the left, I have a little tribute to the passing of the mantle of Captain America per se, from Steve to Sam. Both versions of these guys are top notch too, with the endgame cap being the definitive version of cap for me I think. Endgame concluded Cap's journey in the MCU by giving him the opportunity to retire and go back in time, giving him the chance at a normal life with Peggy, his love. It was hard to not be satisfied with this arc at the end with how the Russo brothers closed out the film. This posed to me, with the shield on his back, helmet in his left hand and compass with Peggy's picture grip tied in his right, reminds me of him getting ready to go home to her at the end of the film. This is still one of my favourite figures in the collection, and look at that head sculpt. Now, looking at Mr. Sam Wilson, formerly the Falcon and our new Captain America. For this pose, I wanted to have him simply just standing here, looking down at the shield, contemplating the burden that comes with the mantle of Captain America. I really enjoyed the journey they took Sam on in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I think this pose definitely represents that struggle he went through in accepting the responsibility of the shield to continue Cap's legacy. In my opinion, Sam is the right choice. He's deserving, and I think worthy of the mantle. At his core, he's a good man who believes in doing the right thing, regardless of the personal consequences, just like Steve. I'm excited to see where Marvel takes his character in Captain America 4. I decided to get two of this guy because, well, it's just a fantastic figure all around. Finally, we move to the third section of the display, featuring Infinity War cap, the new Avengers cap, and my second endgame cap to round out the shelf. For this section of the display, I chose to go for the poses that represent and remind me of key moments in Steve's journey. From the moment where Steve first appears in Infinity War, stepping out of the darkness, catching the spear thrown at him, to directing the Avengers in the Battle of New York in the first Avengers film, to finally wielding Milnir in Endgame before leading all the heroes of Earth into that epic final battle against Thanos and his army. Let's focus on Infinity War Steve first. I've had him in this pose for a long time and I can't bring myself to take him out of it yet. This moment in the film still gets us every time when we watch it. The way they intro the music in this scene when he enters, man, it's so freaking epic. By the time we see Steve in Infinity War, he's been on the run since Civil War and I found it so interesting to see his arc go from being the face of the military industrial complex in his debut to now opposing it. He's not Captain America in this film, he's Steve Rogers. Moving over to the ever so vibrant First Avengers outfit. This is the version from Endgame but for me, represents his outing in the first Avengers. For this pose, I wanted to make use of his pointing hand gesture as I feel having him walking, pointing and leading is an iconic way to display him. This represents key characteristics of Cap, I believe. He's a natural leader of men and in Avengers when we see that amazing moment when they all band together for the first time and Tony says, call it Captain, the leader of the Avengers is born. Okay guys, to round out the display, my second endgame Captain America. Just standing, holding the battle damage shield and Mjolnir. This to me is a more relaxed pose of that moment when everyone comes back right after Cap catches Mjolnir and utters for the first time, Avengers, assemble. What a moment. 
The way Chris Evans portrayed Captain America was so honourable and heroic. Stoic and sure of his beliefs, he always exuded integrity and always took personal accountability for his decisions. I personally think Chris Evans as Steve Rogers and Captain America is one of the special on-screen role models in cinema and this is why I have a display dedicated to him in my collection. And that's it guys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of On The Shelf and maybe got some inspiration for your own displays. I thank you all for tuning in and if you haven't already done so, do us a favor and hit that like button, notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Memberships are available now so if you'd like to support the channel too, take a look and see if you'd like to join the Iron Legion. Lastly, we got reviews and unboxings, story theme posing showcases, display tips and tricks, plus live streams, including The Rundown, where we deep dive into film and TV. But for now, guys, until next time, I'm out.